Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I still don't have an intro, so yes, this is the intro. Girl, we are back at it with another episode in this series. I wouldn't really call it a series because the last time I did it was like December, but so I did a like fan mystery box, send somebody money and they put together a mystery box for you. So I asked you guys, my followers over on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you do so. Mr. Prada across all boards. We have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, don't really use that. TikTok, OnlyFans, maybe, coming soon, who knows? No, I'm kidding. And here, of course, so make sure you're following me everywhere so you guys stay up to date. I'm always posting different things on different like areas. Anyways, so I asked you guys over on Instagram stories to submit where you're from because I want to take it this internationally. So yeah, I have, a bu I have like four sitting in my closet and I apologize for not uploading these sooner, but I honestly just didn't get around to it. And you guys know if you watch my video from a few weeks ago about depression and everything, I was kind of in a weird place, but now I'm here and I'm super excited and packages are the only thing that brings me joy. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, which is BetterHelp. So a lot of you guys know that mental health and mental health education is at the forefront of what I stand for. I posted a video a little bit ago. I hope you guys watched it. I know a lot of you did and there were thousands of comments. You know, it was me opening up finally about mental health, my struggles with depression, anxiety, medication, therapy, and what I've been going through for the past year. Really the past 10 years, but everything kind of came to a head in the past year. So what I want to ask you is, is there something interfering with your happiness or something stopping you from achieving your goals? For me there was, and through talking to somebody and sort of making my mental health a priority, I was really able to just start fresh and look within myself and figure out exactly what makes me happy, what's going on, how I'm feeling. You know, I'm a type of person who doesn't like to project my insecurities on other people. I don't want to open up to people because I'm afraid and you don't have to be. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. It's super easy and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line and it's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus counselor network that may not be available locally. The service is available worldwide, which is amazing, and you can log in at any time and message your counselor whenever you need to talk. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses and you can even set up a weekly phone call or a video call if you want and really you don't have to deal with any of the uncomfortable, you know, sitting in a waiting room or sitting in somebody's office, you know, I know for me that can give me a little bit of anxiety, so it's just much easier to be able to do that on a phone call or a video call. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating a great therapeutic match, so if for some reason you need to switch counselors, they make it really easy and simple to do so. BetterHelp is actually more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and they even have financial aid opportunities. BetterHelp wants you guys to start living a happier life today. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We don't know what the rest of the year is going to bring. So take charge of your mental health, just like I did. And you guys can join the million plus people taking charge of their mental health with BetterHelp. Also, BetterHelp is offering you guys 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com. That's H-E-L-P.com slash Daniel Prada. So if you guys are interested, you can click the link down below in my description and visit BetterHelp today. Okay, so today's mystery box from a subscriber comes from Fiorella in Paris. I think she's in Paris, France? Yes, Paris, France. I have been to Paris a few times, mostly just for like, I was flying through the country, but I've been there for like a book tour and then I was there for work once and then once I just took a train with my friend Jenna and I was in Paris and met up with some friends and had dinner, it was fabulous. Paris gets a bad rap. I think people think everyone's super nasty in Paris and the food isn't good. I love French cuisine. I think the food is amazing. I'm European also, like my entire family and myself are from Romania, so I understand the disconnect from Americans to Parisians. It is very blunt in your face. If they don't like something, they'll say it. You know what I mean? It's very that. Okay, so I have this gorgeous large package. We love a gorgeous large package, don't we? Do I have any scissors here? No, but I have a pencil. That should do it. Um, so really, I just said have at it. Send whatever you want, NSFW, PG-13, rated R. Keep it gorgeous, keep it fun. I said home, food, decor, clothing, that type of thing. So really anything, I'm very open. 
Look at this little packing peanut, little French packing peanut. How cute is that? Oh my god, yeah, th I thought it was just flat, but no, they're shaped like little Lay's, Lay's potato chips. They do not taste like them. <gasps> a little card, how sweet! Bonjour! Thank you for trusting me with this very important mission, sweetie. I hope you'll love every item in here. There's a lot of smaller Made in France brands that I love, as well as bigger, more well-known brands every French kid grew up with. And of course, a tiny touch of luxury. Very important. Can't wait to see you open everything up. Fiorella. Yep, that's Italian. Make sure to say the R. Of course, honey. So sweet. I love a handwritten note. Don't you? Okay, so starting off the box, first of all, thank you for packaging this, Fiorella. So beautifully, it's literally immaculate condition. Lay's Mediterranean. If the south of France was a bag of chips, basically. First of all, I'm dying to go to Nice and the south of France. Look how stunning these are. Why don't we have this quality in America? It's beautiful. We're gonna go in. I know I'm gonna be obsessed with these because I love, oh. I can't eat them all. I will seal them up because I'm not throwing any of this away. Mmm, I can take this taste of rosemary. It's lightly salted. So much better than the American Lay's. I need to learn some French, hold on. Très bien, very good. I knew that, why is it slipping? Gorgeous. Storm, what do you think, you want one? Storm, Monty. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Maison Colibri. So these look like Madeleines. You guys can see, covered in chocolate perhaps. Couldn't get you croissants, but these are the next best thing. I'm obsessed, this is how I pack things for my friends with little notes and little things, that's so sweet. These, oh my goodness, these look decadent. Okay, I have seen these before. They're double-sided, beautiful. Oh, student! Mmm, mmm. The French just do pastries and sweets so much better than anyone else. It's almost like angel food cake almost in America, kind of, with like a chocolate coating. So good. And not too sweet, which I like. I don't like anything that's crazy sweet. I love those. I'm gonna have to give one of those to my mom. She's gonna love those too. Oh my gosh, I grew up with these. Single no more, here's your Prince Charming. How cute! They have them in Italy and Romania and everywhere, I think. They're ju basically just like the equivalent of Oreos in the US, but it's like a vanilla cookie with creamy chocolate in the middle. These are so good. I'm not gonna open these right now, but they're so, so good. And you can have them with like milk or a coffee. Let's see, what's this? Sock socket. French sailor vibes from head to toe. Oh, how cute! A little pair of socks. Oh, I love these. So cute and simple. I love them. I will definitely wear these. Socks and underwear, you cannot go wrong. This is for the lols, so you can live your full French fantasy. Okay. I hope this is a, a jock strap with the French flag on it. Oh, it's the next best thing. Oh my god. If I wore this in Paris, I would be, I would be crucified. I love this. So cute. Just a traditional... French sailor shirt. I love this, I'll actually wear it with like a nice pair of white pants or a pair of jeans. They won't make fun of me here, girl, but in Paris, be looking at me a little funny. Now this is a classic French candy and a nightmare for your teeth. What is this? Carambar caramel. Oh, I'm assuming that these get stuck in your teeth. I'm gonna have to have one because they sound so good. Oh, they're really hard, I'm only gonna have half. Actually, I'm only gonna have a little bite. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna be able to bite them at all. Ow! We'll just suck on it. They're great, they're like caramels, but they're very hard. I don't think I'll ever, you know what? They might be a little cold. Maybe I'll put it out in the sunshine. Haribo is our main candy brand here in France, and Joy. These look like the equivalent of Red Hots in America. Let's try it out. I'm not a fan of Red Hots, but I know that they have a certain demographic, so. Wait, no, they smell sour. Oh, they're not Red Hots. They're just like marshmallows with like sugar coating on it. I like them. This has been in French kids lunch boxes for decades. So this is called Lulu La Barquette. Oh, I would have these with tea. These look really good. Mmm. So delicate. And again, not too sweet. I love it. I could eat like 80 of these, I think. 
I love it, what else? Amazing buttery goodness with a twist. Open it, oh god, more butter. Shantae biscuits. Oh my god. This is the sweetest thing ever, you guys. This is so thoughtful. It's like my little sayings. So one says Mr. Prada. How adorable is that? One said, yes, these are my real lips. I don't have an intro, so this is the intro. That's so cute. Oh my God, this is the most thoughtful thing literally ever. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bite out of this one. Yes, these are my real lips. Yes, these are my real lips. Mmm. Buttery, again, not too sweet, which is my favorite thing. Oh my god, thank you so much. You are so adorable. Oh, what's this? This is a staple on nice, warm crepes. Chestnut spread. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this Bone Mama? It is! Okay, you guys, I have the funniest story. So hazelnut spread, this is kind of like Nutella, but I think that this is more not as chocolatey. I think it's straight up like hazelnut spread. So this brand, Bone Mama, I was on vacation once. Growing up, I used to go to the Dutch West Indies and the French West Indies, which is like St. Martin, St. Parts. Yeah, St. Martin is half Dutch, half French. But when I was there, there was always this strawberry jam at my local breakfast place. And they would serve you like croissants, or a baguette with coffee and some jam, little miniature versions. And I thought it was like supreme luxury. I'm like, this is the cutest, this is the coolest like jam I've ever had in my life. So it was like a mini version of these little jars. So <laughs> eventually as time went by, friends started coming on vacation with me and my family, well my mom, and my friend Jenna was obsessed with them. She's like, you can't get this in the States. This is the best jam I've ever had. And lo and behold, she would pack like 10, jars in her suitcase back to America. Years later, she started telling her friends because every time we would go, she would have a bunch and she would like give them away and talk like, this is the best gym ever. It's so good. You can only get it in the islands and in Paris. And her friends would send her things like, girl, this is in our local supermarket for like half the price that you would buy it for. So it had been like Americanized and they would sell it, but I've never seen this hazelnut spread. So I'm so excited to try this. Actually, I'm gonna just try it right now because I'm too eager. It's gonna take a little bit. The consistency is like a jam, like a spread almost. Mmm, it's good. It has a very true hazelnut spread, but again, I'm obsessed that it's not crazy sweet because Nutella is so, so sweet. This is delicious. I would have this on toast. Mmm, mmm. Oh no, something broke. Oh, I love this soap. Traditional Marseille soap. It can be used as a body wash or a dish soap. Made where I live. Okay, so she's from Marseille. Marseille, 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 I think it's Marseille. So it had this really cute little concrete plate, but it, that cracked. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's like a block of soap. So they sell this brand in America as well, but I've only seen it in liquid soap. So this is kind of cool. It, this is like a full on Oh, it smells so good. How adorable. Maybe I'll cut this in half and use half in the kitchen and half in the bathroom. 99% natural origin ingredients made in France. I love that. Oh my God. The most luxurious French candle brand. How could I not? Is this dipped? It's Diptyque. Oh my gosh. You guys know I love candles. Diptyque candles are some of my favorite. I actually have one. You can't really see it, but it's a really, really big one I got as a gift. Yeah, you can, the black vessel right there. I got it as a gift like a year ago and they last so long. What scent is this? This is way too much. This was so sweet of you. Oh my God. How adorable. It comes in a little dust bag. Oh my God. It's lavender and lavender is my favorite fragrance ever. And a face cream. Little cute little face cream. Wait, I need to open this because I know I'm going to be burning this or at least I'm going to place it on like my desk. Oh, lavande, so good. And also you guys, these make the greatest gift. You don't have to get that. That one's like a $400 candle, but they have so many different varieties. Great, great brand. Thank you so much, that was so thoughtful. Lavender too, my favorite. I know you're not much into alcohol, but you have to try this. Okay, so you're right, I'm not a big drinker, but I do, like I will drink socially. It's just, I get very, very drunk very easily. But Fiorella girl, whenever I'm in France, we're getting together and we're going out. Oh my God, cider, sassy, I love it. Produced and bottled in France. So I'm assuming this is just like a local hard cider. I'm gonna chill this and I'm gonna drink it later and I will update you on how it is. Oh, this is so cute. 
So you can hit the farmer's market with some Parisian class. That's like a net bag. They have these here, but I haven't seen them in this like really sweet, almost like a cotton net material. I've only seen it in plastics. So cute. I'm obsessed with that too. And literally everything in here I've loved has been the depiction of me. So this is the last one. Now this is where it's at. Great on crepes, but can go in with a spoon. <gasps> Creme de caramel. Caramel cream with salt from Jean. Oh my gosh, this looks decadent. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a spoonful. Oh my God, it smells so good. We're just gonna go in. We're gonna go in with a little spoon. So, so good. Mmm. That is rich. I feel like this is gonna come in handy at like two in the morning where I want a little morsel, a little snack. So divine. All right, well that is everything. I feel like this wasn't your average unboxing. Everything I adored so much and I will literally use everything. I'm gonna put everything in my pantry. I'm gonna use this bag. I'm gonna wear the clothes, the jam, the spreads, the soap, the candle. Everything was so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Fiorella. This was amazing. I really appreciate it and I feel like I don't even need to go to Paris anymore. I feel like it just came to me. No, I'm kidding. I cannot wait to go back and hang out whenever I'm there. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and got a little cultured. Let me know in the comments down below what you would be dying to try and where you're from. And if you wanna send me a box, you can DM me over on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I will reach out to you. We will settle on an appropriate price or whatever you're comfortable with and work it out in the DMs. This was so much fun. Give this video a big like if you guys wanna see more. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and leave a comment down below and subscribe and don't forget to have your notifications on. And there are new episodes of Unmess My Ex every Sunday here on my channel. So make sure you have the notifications on for that as well. And uh, yeah, make sure you're following me on all my platforms and they're all linked down below. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video. I still don't have an outro, so this is the outro. Au revoir.